Listen to the birds. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the second part. It's only 75 degrees out, cool breeze where I'm at, I'm under the shade, and the humidity's way down. The rain is over and the sun is out. I'll show you my yard over there. I just barely mowed. Can you tell that it looks like it might need mowed? I barely mowed. The neighbors cut their grass and they kill it. Okay, there's some pits, there's some whatever. This is like 220. Well, I knocked a mono down with some 60 grit. Uh, let me show you what I use. These are off my orbit sander. I can sacrifice a few, okay? And paint stick makes a nice little flat sanding board. Then I took some 220, which is off them sanding belts I bought. Those two six footers I bought for like, oh geez, it was on sale for what seven bucks? Three and a half bucks. They're each of them are six foot long. You see how nasty it gets. If you can clean sandpaper if you want to take the time with a brush. A steel wire brush, you can save this sandpaper if with a wire brush. You really can. Okay, we're gonna spray a little bit of paint on here, okay? We're gonna use a can that's been used with a little bit left. And then we're gonna go around and do some more body work and sanding because we got a lot of sanding to do. There's a lot of shiny spots in here. We want it dull. We're just practicing our body work, but this is where you see it. You walk right up to the tractor. The back. Here's where this is all rusted, pitted, and welded. Uh, that's just a primer run. No, that's Bondo left over. See that? Then we're going to take you to the back over here. Now this has like a little valley to it. Okay, just bear with me. This has like a valley, okay? So if you go in here and you feel it and look at it, it's going to show up. But this, like I said, it's not a car. There's like a big dip here you're going to see when this thing's painted. So remember that. See where this hinge is? You we see the big dip in this one when this is all done painted. We're not worried about it. That was all cracked. Oh, the underneath where I welded, I always prime and paint or do something to your weld so it don't draw water. Because that water can work its way up, work it through a little pinhole, work into the Bondo, right? So we're going to... Have it upside down. We're going to spray a lot of primer and paint so it actually soaks down in trying to waterproof this. If you're really worried, you can put some undercoating over it. Well, we're not that worried. Okay. Don't ask what this is for, but I'll tell you what it worked good for a CV antenna, radio antenna. Don't have one on the other side. See where it's angled? The old Chevy Impalas. If you're a Chevy guy, you know what I mean. 63 Impala, whatever. They had angled antennas. You can put an antenna back here. I don't think I'm going to, but I don't know what that hole's for. Did it have just one backup light? There's not one on the other side. See? See all my junk, trash can, there's my old stuff. Yeah. Okay, we acting up. Let's get this thing touched up, and the rest of them try to make a really quick video, unless you're bored and you like these long ones. Two-parters. See where that's still shiny in the sun? That needs to be dulled down some more. It's going to be just rough 220. We're going to see some scratches through the paint. See, that's 600. We're, you're going to see some scratches through the paint. It's Like I said, we just want this thing done. Um, we painted in sprinkles and rain, and it's in wind and thunderstorms, so we, we want it done. Once this is done, I can mow with this and do the hood at my own convenience. The hood's going to take a lot of work. I'm going to put a lot of work into that hood because it has dents and everything in it. So, look at the timer. This guy keeps talking. Get to work. Okay, what do you think? Get different angles. Not bad for a lawnmower. I'm not a body man. But if you take your time and practice and Bondo. I'm happy with my Bondo. See what I mixed it on right here? It's nice and hard laying here all day. I can show you where I cracked it at or whatever, but uh I mix the right amount of hardener. It's just right. I mean, it's, you can't break the stuff with my thumb. Yeah, I had the right amount of hardener. I had to really mix the tube. It's kind of watery. It's laid around. I've got some tubes, but there you go. I cleaned all this off, okay? 
See what you get off there from overspraying stuff? Okay, we're going to primer all these bare spots. This thing's big. Look how far it is across here. Air conditioner, I need to look at it. We had to get a new one. It, it will get cool, but it won't get cold. It's, and I had to hold the set. There's a sensor on it. I, I might show a video on that someday. If any, it's a shame. I got to throw it into recycling. There's a little bulb that sets in front of your core in the front. If you hold it and take it out and hold it in your hand, it'll kick in. But it will not make very cold air. So it's got to be low on a Freon or compressor or whatever. It's a shame. Had to buy a new one. You can't afford to have that worked on. Anyway, back on topic. Let's primer these bare spots. And then we'll work our way around to uh, showing the underside what we're going to do. How we're going to primer the welds. Okay. Always have that practice when you weld something primer paint it we're gonna put a bunch of primer in. when I'm done you'll see it I'm just gonna squirt it in there we're gonna primer that we'll probably put some flat black over it we forgot to grind that that's where that bracket goes across we're gonna live with it we're not gonna take a grind of that one it's paint that's that spot I showed you I just got through painting on the other side so we're just gonna live with that we forgot to grind it nasty see how nasty this stuff gets everything that's underneath and dirt and grease and I'm not going to paint this. This has grease thrown up for the transmission and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sick. It's just I'm still getting over that humidity I've sucked in the past couple days of it raining. But yeah, we'll fill this full of primer. Then we'll be back. We'll just uh, really spray it. Okay, see how much I sprayed in here? I flooded it. You can tell I flooded it. It's got all day to dry. We're going to be painting the other side. I got a little bit of peeled paint up over here. See it? Right there. So it's a shame I didn't grind that weld off, but it's primered. Like I said, we don't want to waste our paint under here. We only have so many cans of paint. That's just going to be coated with black paint for now. Maybe later on we'll cover the underneath, but you're never going to see it. But yeah, I always tell everybody that. Paint, even flat black paint. Do not weld something working on something without painting it. Water gets in there and it rusts because you know the metal was ground clean when you were working on something welding it, which this was, it was just welded, but there you go. Don't waste too much time on these clips. There you go. Let's get back to work. Okay, excuse the lighting. This is why I ground them stickers off and send them. Well, this has got all kinds of levels you can fill with your fingers. So we're going to take 60 grit on that and then 220. Said we should have just took a heat gun, took them off, took some acetone to get rid of the glue, but... We thought we'd grind it with a 36 grit flapper wheel. But no, you can feel it. That will show up through the paint. We're going to take it down with our 60 grit sanding pad and 220. Here's another little shot of that back here. Like I said, there's a groove. and there's, It's like a trough dip, whatever, where it dips in all the way through here. I don't know if it was factory. It could have been from banging it up and down so many times over the years and it bowed it we're leaving it so this is the back it had reflectors there okay see everything looks dull that's what you want we're gonna primer over here yet we got to clean it with some rubbing all we're using is rubbing alcohol on the bare metal uh before we primer it so the other side's painted over the primer it's done we're not even have to show you that we took a photo i think so back to work Okay, can you see that? This is all flat now. You got a lot of gouges from that 60 grit, but I don't care. I'm going to put primer on there. I mean, feel it. He went through a glove. You can use your bare hands. That's pretty smooth. If there's any little defects, like I said, it's not a car. I'll take a shot of that so you can see it before it's painted, what it looks like, ready, before I even put primer on it. And here's the other type. Other. Da 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 da. What? Here's the other side. No time at it. You can clearly see there's layers and there's a ridge you can fill with your finger. Okay. We'll take you back. There's a couple spots here. Don't ask what them are. We'll take you back over here where it's primered. See that? Get this up. See? That looks pretty smooth. And this is the back now where the tail lights were. So we're done painting. We're going to draw a little attention to that. Looks well, good enough to me. Is that and, and look how thick the paint is. How much is on there? Let me bring it back. We'll show you a prime example. See this right in here? Look how thick that paint is. 
You see these little scratches right in here? Can you see them? Or is the sun too bright? We're going to take them out too. Okay, back to work. I figured these videos might be worth, you know, making because someone might not ever sand it and paint it or nothing. You learn to feel with your fingers. You'll see and feel it smooth. That's nice and smooth in here. So when you put the primer on, it looks good. So it's not a car. It doesn't have to be that good. You know, don't doubt yourself. You can't spray with a spray can. And I will not show me spraying with a spray can. I'm a... When I'm going, I'm going to go. It's going to be a light coat, a second coat, and the top is going to be a big wet coat on here. Uh, there's no way. It's going to be a big wet coat. Hope no gnats land. Because I want a thick coat of paint on top of this where it's going to wear over the years. Under the seat, I'm not too worried. Okay, back to work again. I got so much paint dust that's even on my camera. Okay, we sprayed a couple light coats on there. If one of the cans had paint left, we will start with a fresh can of paint when we paint those. Excuse the neighbor's dog whining if you can hear it. It is pretty nasty when you got to work in conditions like that. Poor thing. There, that's better. See that? That way it's got something to start with. Because that's going to soak up a lot of paint, that primer will. There's my front. And we'll give you one more shot before we paint on the back. Okay, there's the back and primer with all the decal removal, which I made a mess. It's my fault. Made more work. See how I primered that? Because it was bare metal. I didn't say. I just... That's where the bolts and the washers were. So, it's going to wear again. There you go. It's break time. Stuff looks weird till it gets to be the right color, huh? Stay tuned. See that little speck? That's stuff from the tree. See that? If it ain't that, it's the gnats. But we got a pair of tweezers we'll show you we're going to use. We got a first coat on, we're going to let it dry. We're taking a break. Okay, here's our tweezers we're going to use. Don't take it out when it's wet. Let it dry. Or just let the whole paint job dry and take it out and have a speck. You will have a smear so bad if you stick your fingers in there to try to pull that out. That's what we're going to use to get rid of that. We've used it for gnats before. Ugh, the perils of painting outside. It doesn't matter. It's just a tractor. And somewhere right there is where it was. But I got it. Success. Okay. Okay, we're going to finish painting in the shade because of the tree fluff. But we're going to use a lamp. Uh, that's our trick. We're going to use the light. We're going to walk around the light even though it's daytime. We can tell the difference in the shade of the paint. Stay tuned. We'll be done. And we are done. There is multiple coats of paint. There's got to be four coats there there's at least six coats in the middle i just kept flooding it in there because if it runs on where the seat is it doesn't matter but there you go get a bunch of junk walked around so we can just walk up and bump into it but thanks for watching i figured this is worth making a couple of videos on this part of the build